guys, welcome back to my channel. I am finally sitting down with y'all to tell you my picks for travel, skincare, and makeup. I have had people ask me to do this for quite some time. I just had somebody reach out to me on Instagram this past week asking again for me to do it. And I was like, you know what? I need to sit down and do this. I'm a planner anyways, and I'm leaving in less than two months, almost like really like six weeks. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's only six weeks to go to Scotland for 12 days. So I need to start planning what I'm gonna be taking anyway. So I sat down and was like, you know what? What am I really honestly going to take? I do not want to take up a lot of room. I don't wanna be extra. Let's be real, I wanna save space in my luggage to bring stuff home. <laughs> so I don't wanna take a ton with me. So I compiled two bags worth. This right here is skincare, this is makeup. They both have room to spare, which is good because you know, I still got like deodorant and shampoo and stuff like that, but this is plenty of room. So this right here is all I will be taking in the form of beauty products with me to Scotland. And it's actually much easier than I thought to downsize. Now, I don't typically downsize this much when I travel domestically or a weekend trip, because for that, I'm like, let's just keep what I normally do, I'll pack everything. But for this, I felt like it was very important to downsize. So let's start with makeup. I'll put timestamps. If you don't care about makeup, you can go to straight to skincare. And this is just a little L to MD bag. That's another tip. Save your bags. Do the gifts with purchase for bags Ulta and Harbin House. Do the best bags. And this is a Harbin House bag. This is an Ulta bag. So that's a tip if you don't have a collection of bags to travel with. And this is, I don't know if you're able to see, only halfway full. Everything that is in this bag is what is on my face today. Very, 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 very condensed, but so easily done to get a full face of makeup with variety. There are some things that I didn't condense or change, and that is my mascara and my eyebrows. So everything I use for those is going because I don't wanna give any of that up. <laughs> so this right here, other than mascara and brows, is what I'm taking. I'm kind of proud of myself. And I'm not worried about not having something, right? Because when I traveled, especially a, a big trip like this, I don't wanna be spending a ton of time on my makeup anyways. I wanna get done and get out and like make use of my time and my money that I put into the trip. So another tip is to, again, look for those gifts with purchases. Look for the 100 point perks at Sephora because they are going to be smaller packages that you can oftentimes refill. For instance, this Ilia powder was a 100 point perk and I will just refill it as I empty it. So I have refilled this completely with the Ilia powder, which is what I set my under eyes with. And it's tiny compared to the full size and takes up absolutely no room. With my concealer, I have these little pots that I use in my kit to give clients like lipstick and stuff. And since I use the Chantecaille, con Sh did I say that right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Chantecaille Future Skin Gel Foundation for Concealer, I simply depotted that into this. So instead of taking that very large tub of concealer or foundation or whatever, you can put it in something smaller. Now, if you have a regular doe foot concealer, that's fine. That doesn't take up a ton of space anyways. And then I'm taking my Clinique airbrush concealer that I use for corrector because it's probably the skinniest, most space friendly corrector that I have. Now, as far as Complexion and eyes, couple of tips. One, if you have a powder foundation that you enjoy, I highly recommend taking that. It is one product that takes the place of two if you are someone who uses a setting powder. Now, if you just use a foundation and you want to travel with that, that's fine too. I think powder's easier to travel with. I can take my makeup on my carry-on. I don't have you know liquids that I have to worry about, so it's easier for me to travel. And I think we all know my favorite is the Jane Ardell Pure Press. I can use just this if I need some coverage on top of my SPF and be out the door and feel fine. Or if I wanna do a full face like this, then I can obviously use that as my foundation. And again, I'm taking the place of two steps for me because I use a setting powder. So this is my only complexion product that I'm taking. I'm completely fine with wearing this 12 days in a row because it is my favorite. I know it always works 
always looks good. It doesn't matter if my skin is oily, dry, or a combination of both, which is never really oily, but it doesn't matter if it's hot outside and it just always works. Now, if you want to take a face palette, I would recommend something like the Hourglass palette because it has one of the Hourglass palettes. They have like a blush, a bronzer, a couple of highlights, and a finishing powder. I prefer to take a separate bronzer and then make my own kind of face palette for my blush, highlight, and eyeshadow. So that is what I've done with the next and last two products that I'm taking. The Jane Ardell bronzer is just one of my very favorites. I actually put a new pan in because I ran out of my last one, and I know it always works with the Pure Press Foundation, so it was an easy choice to take that with the powder foundation. And then finally for my eyes and the rest of my complexion, I'm taking my Fit Glow Beauty palette. Now this is an empty palette and I chose singles out of my larger variety of singles from Fit Glow to put in this. And this is why I chose these. I already have a bronzer, so I didn't need a bronzer shade. I know that this golden hour highlight is perfect as a highlight, which I have on today, and also as a lid color, which I have on my eyelids. And then I wanted two blush options. I wanted something more neutral slash warm, and then I wanted something more cool toned and on the pink side, depending on what I was wearing or how I was feeling that day. So I chose these two blushes. So I have these, also two options for my crease color. Another option for my crease color is my bronzer. So I now have three crease shades available to me in very little packaging. And then this one, I believe is called Mulberry Brown. And I chose this one because it is the best eyeliner shade for me. Now, if you wanted to put a different color in here, you could definitely take a pencil eyeliner. It's not gonna take up any more room in your bag. I like to have a choice for a shadow liner. And also if I wanted to end up smoking out a look, if we were going out one night and I wanted something to be a little bit darker, I have that option as an eyeshadow as well. So that's why I chose these four shades to get me a variety of looks. Now the only other thing that I would say you could do if you wanted even more variety for your eyeshadow, a couple of eyeshadow sticks, because again, they're very space friendly and there's so many options. So if I had to pick out a couple, these are the two that I would add and I'll tell you why. No even thought about the fact that I would include Laura Mercier Copper. It is my favorite eyeshadow stick of all time, and it is different enough to Golden Hour to be a nice variety of lid shade, okay? So that is Laura Mercier Copper, and then Glow Skin Beauty's Canyon, which is another favorite of mine goes so good with copper, and this is an eye look in itself, but this is matte, very pretty, kind of a warm terracotta shade, and this I chose because it is gorgeous as a one and done shadow. Put it all over your lid, blend it up into the crease, and you have a look. Maybe use that dark eyeshadow, and you're good to go. So these two additions that take up little to no space at all gives me a ton of variety for my eyeshadow looks. And I do know that I don't have any lipsticks in this bag and that's because I'm not worried about lipsticks. I have two to three lip glosses and lipsticks in my purse and that's what I'll wear the entire time. I'm not trying to like, I mean, you know, I'm like a nude lipstick girl anyways. I don't venture off very much. So I'm fine with just using those shades and not having a huge variety. And that is it. That is the very small amount of makeup that I'm taking that I know will get me so many different looks and make me feel comfortable and work products that just stand the test of time. I don't necessarily recommend taking new products with you when you're traveling, especially for a long period of time. You need something you know is going to work, that is going to be fast, that works well together, and that you're not gonna have to spend a lot of time on. And I do add my perfume in with my skincare bag that I'm checking because it is liquid, but I will talk about it now before we get into skincare. And I really like taking small decants with me of perfume. These are ones that I've either purchased or you can make yourself. You can get very affordable decant type bottles on Amazon and just fill them up with the perfume you already have. But these are the three that I have chosen to take with me. I feel like if I'm going over to the UK, I need to wear something girl on. I don't know, I just feel like that's appropriate. <laughs> so I picked out um, Queer Beluga, which is 
oh so beautiful, a powdery, suede, gorgeous scent. And also Oud Nude, which is very everyday, very appropriate for any occasion, daytime, nighttime, doesn't matter what the weather is like. I just feel like it works all the time. And then also Raised Spirits from Navitas. I don't know if you can still get this or not, but this is just the quintessential boozy, warm fragrance, which also just seems very appropriate for Scotland. So those are the three that I chose. I know no matter what I'm doing or where I'm going, one of these is going to work. And I honestly don't want too many options because then I'm just like, I don't know what to wear. I just, three is plenty. All right, let's jump into skincare real quick. And again, this is not a lot of skincare when you're talking about me and how much I love skincare and think it's absolutely imperative, but I have pared it down to the absolute essentials that will keep my skin in the shape that I want it to be in, but also is very appropriate for travel where my skin can often get much drier. The weather is still going to be pretty chilly in April over there. So I, you know, I'm gonna have to worry about that for dry skin as well. So I really chose hydrating products a few actives, very minimal space. So here we go, let's start with AM skincare. This is another thing that I think is so important to really pay attention to gift with purchases and 100 point perks because I have very many different options in here that came from those specifically, but they are refillable. For instance, cleanser, I'm just gonna take the Is Clinical Cleansing Co Complex, excuse me. This is the two fluid ounce bottle. I'm halfway done with it, but I will refill it. And this will definitely last me twice a day for 12 days. You need these very smallest amount. And it's a great cleanser. It's one that I have loved for years. So this small bottle, you actually can purchase separately. So I will link how you can purchase that, but I've also seen it in gift with purchase. And this is the type of thing I'm talking about, something small like this. So that's my cleanser for the morning. Y'all are going to be shocked. <laughs> I have one serum for the morning time. And that is my Epionce Intense Defense Serum because this covers so many bases. It's got vitamins A, B, C, D, and E, and it is very hydrating. My skin loves this so much. I'm actually gonna have to buy another one before I leave. I don't think what's left in here is gonna last me 12 days. Um, I use it twice a week when I use my exfoliating products and I love it. And I don't think I need anything else for the morning time. I've got that hydration in here because it is very hydrating. I've got my vitamin C, I've got some other antioxidants, I've got my protection that I need. So that is the only serum that I'm using in the daytime, which is crazy for me to say. Eye cream, I chose my Elastin Restorative Eye Treatment because this one works great under makeup and it works great at night. So even though I choose to use a couple of different eye creams during the day and night while I'm at home, I see no sense in taking two when I have one that works both. So that's gonna be my eye cream. And then another gift with purchase type of thing is the Sente Dermal Repair Cream. I love this. I love the Ultra Nourish. I have a couple of these that I have available to me that I've gotten as gift with purchase from Harbin House. And they are the perfect size. They last forever. And honestly, the SPF I'm taking is so hydrating. Sometimes I don't feel the need to use a moisturizer in the morning. So I have no doubt that this is going to last me the entire trip because I really only need two small pumps and it's super hydration. So that's the moisturizer that I have for both morning and night. And the sunscreen that I am choosing to take is the Hydratant Pro Mineral Sunscreen from Elastin. Couple of reasons that I chose this one over the other ones that I have and love in my collection. One, this is super hydrating. I find this is one that I can definitely use without separate moisturizer in the morning if I am not visibly flaky. Two, it has the most coverage out of any of the sunscreens that I own, which means if I don't wanna wear makeup one day, I can put this on and still feel like I have evened out my skin tone. It completely covers my redness. It gives me the sunscreen that I need, the protection that I need. And three, I know that it works really well underneath the Jane Iredell Powder Foundation, which obviously is what I chose to take for makeup. So those are the three reasons that I am taking this one and only this one, and that's my morning routine. 
right there, five products, maybe sometimes even four if I don't use the moisturizer, and I am covered. Now at night, I will venture into these little babies right here. These are samples that come with some of my MAC purchases of the MAC Cleanse Off Oil. Now, they have sadly discontinued my very favorite Cleanse Off Oil of all time. However, these are very easily refillable with whatever cleansing oil I choose to use, and two of them will definitely last me the entire trip because even though they look very tiny, they hold a good amount of product. You don't need that much. So that's my cleansing oil. I will then go in with my cleanser that I already have from the morning. I have this Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover, 100 point perk that I refill constantly. I can't even tell you how long I've had this. And once it is refilled, it will last me a very long time. So I will only need to take this for my eye makeup remover. My toner, I didn't talk about in the morning step, but again, gift with purchase, L to MD Skin Recovery Toner. However, that is not what is in here, and I obviously need to refill it. This is the Revision Soothing Facial Rinse that I use and love every single day, and this is easily refillable. I will make it full, last the whole time, got my toner in that small bottle. And then I only have two serums at night, one of which could be used in the morning too if I feel the need for it. I chose for my active serum to be the Medicate Crystal Retinol 10. The reason I chose this instead of my Tret is because I get drier as I travel. I don't think the Tret is going to be as beneficial to keeping the flakes at bay as this is. This is still very, very beneficial. It is still very effective and it does not make me as dry as my Tret can sometimes do. Obviously, I will take my backup bottle because I'm almost done with this one. This also has some hydrating ingredients included in it, so it just made sense to me to choose this one. I can use it every single night, no irritation. Definitely an easy choice for me. And then the only other serum that I'm taking is from Iunic, and it is the Beta Glucan Power Moisture Serum. Now, I have a very large yet very affordable haul coming for K-Beauty. I've getting, I'm been getting more into that. And once my order, actually I have two orders. Once they come in, I may switch this out for another hydrating serum. But as of right now, this is the one that I'm going to choose because beta glucan loves my skin and my skin loves beta glucan. It likes it more than hyaluronic acid. I don't tend to dry out with it like I can sometimes do with hyaluronic acid. It's not irritating and it is packed with moisture. So this works great under makeup as well. So if I feel extra dry, I'll use it twice a day or I'll just use it at night. The, on, the one thing I forgot to include in this is my Dr. Dennis Gross pads. I will take two of those with me because I think that will last me a good enough amount of time, maybe three um, for exfoliation nights. And they are so skinny and in those little packets that they are very easy to shove in wherever I have space. Now, a couple of random things. I'm not gonna forget my lash serum. This is the Revital Lash Advanced Sensitive Lash Serum. And then I have this small little Clarity Take Your Vitamins Daily Mineral Spray for Thirsty Skin that has been refilled with my Osmosis um, Mist that I love so much. And again, I will fill it up to the top. That way, if I need to mist my face throughout the day or if I need to mist it in between, Skincare steps, I have that option, but in a very small package. And then finally, I stuck a couple of masks in the side of the bag because they don't take up much room and because I tend to need these kind of masks when I travel. So I put a couple of Skin Medica Instant Bright Eye Masks. I might even pop some of these on on the flight over there because it's so long and the airplanes just suck all the moisture out of my skin. So I took a couple of these and then I have a couple of really hydrating face masks as well, sheet masks. The Exquisite Face Dual Hydration Mask and the um, 111 Skin, what is this? Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask. So just other ways to get like lots and lots of hydration into my skin, which again is the theme for travel and skincare because my face needs it so badly 
any time that I travel, but especially lengthy travel times like this. Now, the only other thing that I will be putting in my suitcase because I am not going 12 days without this is my current body skin LED mask. I'm gonna be talking more about this in an upcoming video. I talked about it in my, a couple of my favorites videos for 2022. I love LED. I love it. I am com a complete convert and I am not going, I don't even like to go a couple of days without it, much less 12. So that will go in between some clothes in my suitcase and I'm not getting rid of that at all. So that's it. That is the very condensed but still very effective makeup and skincare routines that I'm gonna take with me traveling. Hopefully there were a couple of tips that you found. Obviously, if I was going to a tropical climate, maybe I would change up some of the choices that I made, but for what I am doing, these are gonna be the best products. So I will have everything that I talked about listed and linked in the description box below. If you have any additional questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.